and shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy. I don't know how many people can shout that name, Yahweh, tonight. Can scream that name, Yahweh, tonight. That ancient one is in our midst tonight. Open up your heart to him. Ha. All of others, please raise your voice to heaven. Sing Yahweh. I says we have come to Mount Zion the city of the living God the heavenly Jerusalem a company of innumerable angels the church of the firstborn we have come to God the judge of all we have come to Jesus the mediator of the new covenant we have come to the place of divine encounters I'd like you to give the Lord a shout of praise tonight. Hallelujah. I have the privilege and honor tonight to welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to Koinonia meeting on this beautiful Sunday evening. I'd like you to celebrate the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You have come to the place of your encounter. Don't forget that song by that psalmist of God, Minister Dusio Yekon. This is the place of divine encounters. The place where my flesh gives way. The place where sickness gives way to healings. The place where every depression will take off for joy. You have come to the place of your miracle tonight. And you need joy and excitement to fetch that miracle from the wells of salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. Our God is faithful. He says where two or three are gathered together in his name. He's there in their midst. We're more than two tonight. And I'm sure the Lord has been waiting for you. Even though you came seeking God. God has been seeking for true worshipers. Ensure you engage tonight in worship. Ensure your expectation is clear to the Lord. 
And so you don't live here the same way you came because God has been waiting for you to come. Can you give the Lord a loud clap and shout a praise tonight one more time? Hallelujah. Before we go forward in this awesome service tonight, I'd like to take you through very important drills that will help you to have a good time in the presence of God tonight. Please pay close attention. We have a couple of things you need to know about. For those of us that want to make ourselves convenient, we have restrooms provided to my right, your left, just behind the auditorium. And we also have them all the way down in all the floors. For those of us that will be in the overflow, we have mobile restrooms for you outside of the auditorium so that you don't necessarily need to come into the facility to make yourselves convenient. My right also, outside this facility, there are mobile restrooms towards the back where you can go make yourselves convenient. I also would like you to know that on every one of you's chairs, there are envelopes there for your offerings so that you can also put in your offerings when it's time for us to take our offerings and go ahead and worship the Lord. It's also important for you to know for those members of our families and friends and well-wishers and invitees that are not able to make it here physically today, this service is being streamed live online in all our social media platforms. We have it on YouTube, Facebook, as well as Instagram. You can please log on to any of those social media platforms to experience the same quality and power of service and to have God's presence visit you right in your home. Can somebody say amen? amen. It's also very important for you to know that we have medical personnel by the name Koinonia Medics outside of this particular floor. You can go there to get yourself fine as you prepare to receive a touch of God. Don't forget that man by the pool of Bethesda. He was there for 38 years. If he had died before the pool was stirred or before Jesus came, he wouldn't have experienced that great touch. So you can go there and make yourself fine, pending when the pool is stirred tonight, and you can experience the hand of God in your miracle. It's called Koinonia Medics, and they are well equipped to take care of you and to give you the necessary medications and referrals as the case may be. Can somebody say amen one more time? It's also important that we are compliant with the COVID-19 protocols as we are law-abiding citizens of this great country. Please ensure that at all times you have your face mask on or your face shields so as to abide by the necessary COVID-19 protocols. And also the last but not the least, We'd like you to know that the security and the protocols are available to make the service more enjoyable. Please do your best possible to cooperate with them and to follow their guidelines so that we can all have a great time in God's presence. Don't forget, the Bible says, let all things be done decently and in order. Order is very important in the house of God and order only provokes multiplication. If you heard me loud and clear, can you shout hallelujah? I'll just run through it one more time. Don't forget our convenience is to my right, your left, just behind this place, all the way downstairs, as well as outside the facility. Also, there are offering envelopes on your chairs just for you. And then also we have a medical team that is prepared and equipped to take care of you, pending when you receive your healing tonight. And then also ensure that your face masks are on at all times the last but not the least so that i don't skip this or an opportunity for somebody to experience god tonight don't forget your own test your own your neighbor's testimony is a prophecy for you if you have experienced god in any of the koinonia meetings last week sunday or any other time you were listening to the ministry of apostle joshua selman would like you to please make your way to the foyer the public relations team are there waiting to take your praise reports, your testimonies. I'd like to take that again. If you have experienced the faithfulness and the power of God in healing or in the supernatural touch or miracle of God, and you have a testimony you want to share, we'd like you to please make your way through the aisle to the public relations desk or the information desk 
just outside of this particular floor. So if you are in the basement or in the first or in the ground floor, please make your way up the stairs to the public relations team so they can take down your testimonies and we can have them share in the course of this service so that everyone's faith can be stirred up and we can all be prepared for a glorious time in the house of God. Somebody is getting ready for a mighty time tonight. I'd like you to shout a happy hallelujah. To take forward this service tonight, we're going to be spending some time to pray. Don't forget when blind Bartimaeus got to Jesus, Jesus did not assume that he wanted healing for his sight. Jesus asked him, what is it that you want me to do for you? So I'd like us to, ex to express our expectations to God tonight. The exact things you want the Lord to do for you tonight. And I'd like us to start by declaring these words in Genesis. Don't forget in Genesis chapter 1, verse 5, verse 8, and verse 13. Genesis 1, verse 5, verse 8, and 13. Especially the verse 13. It says, and the evening and the morning was the third day. Verse 8 says, and the evening and the morning was the second day. Verse 5 says, and the evening and the morning was the first day. God's day starts with the evening. God's day starts with the evening. Somebody is about to enter into a new day tonight in the name of Jesus. I'd like you to raise your voice and let's pray together. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. A new day is opening up for me tonight. In the name of Jesus, my days of sorrow are over. My days of pain are over. My days of lack are over. My days of confusion are over. A new day is opening up for me tonight. In the name of Jesus, Raise your voice and begin to pray that prayer tonight. A new day is opening up for me tonight. This is the beginning of a new day for me. This very moment is the commencement of a new day for me. My days of pain are over in the name of Jesus. My days of indebtedness my days of confusion, my days of singleness, they are over in the name of Jesus. A new day is opening up for me. I can shut up a cup of regular book of Sanda Laba Cassetta. Sukopa Calabayala Manta Nida Haya. A new day is opening up for me tonight. This is the day I've long waited for. A new day is opening up for me tonight. This is the day I've long waited for. Kika baraba shalada bahaya. Ora ba kira kete keres. Shalaba rekete koboro monde gelebaya. Ara ba 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 ya. For me, a new day is opening up for me. I shake a Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. We are still praying tonight. Isaiah 62 verse 2. Isaiah 62 verse 2. I don't know if we can have it on the screen. It says, And Gentiles shall see thy righteousness, and all kings thy glory. And thou shalt be called by a new name which the mouth of the Lord shall name. I don't know if you came here tonight being called sick. You were called broke. You were called in debt. You were called in pains. You were called alone. 
you will not leave here the way you came in the name of Jesus. I like you, son, to abundance, to supply, to direction. I shall be called by a new name. Declare it tonight. I shall be called by a new name. Keba shika tabra digo bala mayana. Seke teke bala mayana. Araka to praliga yaksalita. Seke to boko shi bala mamralida. Arala mayaga yaksalita. Ora baba baye kebrele. Obo shata kere bale. Ora kete kebreli lavanda. Alaba shata baya. Kela bara boko to preli gaya. Kere bobo bobo ko shata bala bale kele bota lila. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. Psalm 90, verse 14. The book of Psalms, chapter 90, verse 14. It says, Oh, satisfy us early. Emphasis on early with thy mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all our days this is the month of march we all have prayed up this is the night of my miracle this is my night for an encounter satisfy me early that i might spend the rest of my days praising you satisfy me early in the name of the lord jesus Sakabala Seke teke brele boko bobo bo salabayande irobo nonda labaya satisfy me early Lord thank you mighty God in Jesus mighty name we are prayed if you were around last week Sunday Apostle Salman read to us six mandates of this glorious ministry and it's important that you and I are part of that mandate. Can you say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I am an integral part of this ministry. I am involved in soul winning. In the name of Jesus, I am involved in discipling the nations. I am involved in fostering unity in the body of Christ. In the name of Jesus, I provoke national leadership and transformation by my lifestyle. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Celebrate the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So, hold somebody by your side and say, Lord, I do not want to let you go tonight unless you bless me. Jacob prayed a prayer. He said, Lord, I will not let you go unless you bless me. I want us to lift up our voice this evening and ask to just pray one more time. And just say, Lord, I have come before you. I'm not ready to let go unless you bless me. I want to experience your blessing tonight. I want to experience a shift in my life. Can we lift up our voice some more time and just pray to him? Kali bakori gede bakosha kata Imam prekete li gabaro shi kata li adaba Im prekete li gabako se kredi labai Shana namako si kata li ya Im prekete li gabako re gede makai Man predi la mando suska prekete li labai Im prekete li gabako se kredi bai Man prekete li kredi baka palaga daba we give a praise, Jesus. We give a praise, O oh God. We 
exalt you. We exalt you. Hallelujah to your name. Thank you, Jesus. Easy. You are worthy of my praise. Somebody say, sing it. You are worthy.
Move in your strength and in your power tonight. Move in your strength and in your power tonight. Let your presence be made manifest in our midst. And I will not be silent And I will always work 